we are going to talk about driving with generalised anxiety disorder. I have anxiety, I have GAD to be precise, the gen generalised anxiety disorder, and I know that a lot of people with anxiety do struggle with driving. I was one of them. I still struggle with driving now, and I've been, I've had my licence for almost a year now, and I still struggle with driving. Sorry, I do look incredibly red <laughs> because, well, I was sat in the sun yesterday and I have got quite burnt. Apologies, apologies in advance. I am very burnt. Basically, that is the only thing I can really say. So, my experience with driving, I, when I was, when I first turned 17, my dad was obsessed with me driving. Which I get. I get why parents want their kids to drive. I get why they would not force them, but encourage them to do it early because it is a lot easier in the long run. But yeah, I was I was absolutely terrified of driving. I would never wanted to drive even when I was really young. Never had the interest for it. I didn't want the interest, didn't like it. Just it freaked me out. I didn't like it at all. I didn't want to learn. I had I didn't want anything to do with driving. One bit. Then, and then my grandma passed away, which is a whole other story. But she, with with that, she recently bought a car, a new car, newish car. And so my mum decided that she was going to pay off my uncle because everything was split between my mum and my uncle. Everything was half, so she paid off my uncle, and I got grandma's car which I love. I absolutely love Red. He, she is absolutely an amazing car. She's got low mileage. She's a lovely car to drive. She's relatively cheap on insurance. So she was a perfect car for me. Is. Still, I've still got her. Is a perfect car for me. Now I suffer with panic attacks because or oh, most people do with anxiety, but I, with my, with my panic attacks, I get tunnel vision, I start to hyperventilate, I cry a lot, and I shake, sometimes I shake. Only with really bad panic attacks do I actually experience tunnel vision, but, and shake, but that, that happened. I pretty much had a panic attack every lesson. They weren't really severe, but they were. I, I was a mess every single lesson because <laughs> it's, it's stressful. I mean, being responsible for a vehicle that can and has killed people is very, very scary. But you can do it. I did. Everyone can do it. It's a feasible thing. And to be perfectly honest, I knew that I needed to learn. There was no two ways about that. I needed to learn because I have things that I have that I want to do in life. Like I want to be able to drive and get myself to places that for example I want to do falconry. I need to be able to get myself there. I want to be able to do dog grooming eventually. And I have to be able to get myself to the courses to be able to do this kind of thing. So I knew I needed to learn. And I already had a car, so they were my two incentives, and before you actually do start learning, if you have if you have anxiety, any form of anxiety, I do fully recommend finding those incentives and sticking to them, because they're the things that are going to get you through at the end of the day. It's because it is a very stressful thing. Now, my driving instructor was absolutely amazing. I loved I loved having my driving instructor. He took the time to understand my fears and what I was nervous about. He knew I had anxiety. It was very obvious. And took the time to try and help me develop and not be af so afraid of driving. So he taught me in very small chunks, like he pushed me a little bit, but he didn't push me too far that I freaked out completely. Like, <laughs> and it got to the point where I knew that I could drive, he knew that I could drive. It took six months for me to pass my test, 
and we in the end we we kind of just worked through it we he was very very patient with me and he would always make jokes i was always being someone who was afraid who was constantly nervous afraid i would be quite not snappy but very abrupt almost because i was scared like any person is when they're scared they're either very quiet and timid or they're snappy and I am the snappy type <laughs> and yeah he just he just really really helped me overcome what still is a fear now and I know that I can drive he knew that I could drive so he was the one that told me right you need to book your test and we'll stick to that deadline so my advice to you is if you don't get on with your instructor change there is no harm in that at all changing your instructor i was fortunate to get get along with mine really really well but i know not all people do and another thing is to tell your instructor when you first meet them tell them you have anxiety or have someone else tell them that you do have anxiety that's not going to change that's not a bad thing but it's not going to change and it's don't be embarrassed about having breakdowns i used to have them all the time it's just one of those things, it's one of those things that every everyone with anxiety will experience but over different things and if yours is over driving then <laughs> there's no harm in that and lastly, if you are anything like me try having the radio playing or have someone talk to you I have always been stressed about driving but I know I can do it but when I, get, when I let myself go into my own head, I then panic and think that I can't do it. I can, I know that I can. So I have something in the background to distract me from basically letting me get into my own head. If I'm sat there singing along, I'm happy, I'm calm, I'm content, I can focus on driving and not have to worry about everything in the background, not overthinking everything that I normally do. Well, that's my advice to you, so. How you use it is up to you. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time.